Howdy folks, Mark Serbu, gun designer, gun nut. Got a quick one for you today. I'm just gonna show you how I heat treat the edges of the ejection port on the BFG 50A. Yeah. It's called flame hardening and it's simple to do, but it's very necessary and luckily it's easy and quick. So check it out. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm uh, heat treating, hardening, you know. I say heat treating when I mean hardening, but heat treating can be other things. It can be annealing, you can be stress relieving, but here I'm actually hardening. I'm hardening just this edge right here. And look at how bright that gets. Woo! Look, it stays bright, even underwater. That's it. So, the reason I'm doing this is this sheet metal part of the receiver, when these big 50 cal cases come out, they uh, hit that edge right there, and uh, they'll bend it up, they'll ding it up, unless you harden it. Because even though this is really good alloy steel, it's not in the hardened state, so it's not, it doesn't have a lot of strength. So, we just heat treat it. And man, this uh, this oxyacetylene torch makes quick work of it. I mean, it's, look at it, it's 15 seconds and that's enough. And I'm purely doing it here by color because, you know, I've done this a lot. But uh, interesting fact is when you're heat treating steel, you get to something called the austenization temperature. I'm sorry, the austenization point. And that is an austenization temperature. And that word austenite also refers to a type of stainless steel, which is austenitic stainless steel, 300 series or non-magnetic. So interesting thing about this is a way to tell if the steel has got to the austenization point is if you took a magnet to that hot part right there, right now, a magnet wouldn't stick to it because it's it's austenite, which is non-magnetic, which is pretty interesting. So it's, it gets to be non-magnetic, but now once you quench it, it's magnetic again. I, uh, I really should get a magnet here and try it, but <laughs> I think it'll get burned. Oh, in case you're wondering why I'm dunking the other end, it's because uh, this, this was a machine in the machine with really stinky coolant. So I'm rinsing it off. It's disgusting. Yeah, we have to do this for every receiver. You don't have to do it, but I mean, you don't want the customer to have their gun get all dinged up just from the, the act of firing it, right? It's funny when you read the heat treat books, it's like, oh yeah, you got a hold of this temperature. You know, it's usually 1,550 degrees or so. And you got a hold of that temperature, like, oh, half an hour, an hour. And it's, you know, based on the, the thickness, how much, how much steel is there. But, you know, this is sheet metal. So it gets really hot really fast. So you don't have to wait around at all. You just heat it and quench it. I know, I wanted to say heat it and beat it, but I didn't. By the way, I welded up all these receivers myself. All of them. Look how bright. Funny, it always ends up with a little circle, right? The glowing goes down to a little circle before it ends. So it completely quenches. Oops. Woohoo! 
Should have worn my flip flops. No, didn't get my didn't get my shoes wet. Last one. The last one. By the way, I'm only rotating this so you can see it on camera. I normally just dump it in, of course. go. Whew. It's uh, quick and easy. What did you do with your Sunday? Well, thanks for watching, folks. Appreciate you as always. Catch you next time. Bye.